Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A body cam video has captured the shocking moment a police officer was run over by a driver after a traffic stop. The disturbing scene unfolded on June 5th night during the long weekend for Independence Day. Hillsborough County Deputy Kalen Hall attempted to pull over a BMW in Tampa, Florida, that he said was driving erratically, but sped off before he could speak to the driver. About 25 minutes later, however, Hall said he saw the same car parked off the street and again tried to make an approach. He never expected what happened next. The BMW peeled out of the spot and raced towards the officer, knocking him down and driving over his legs. The disturbing video shows Hall initially trying to approach the vehicle before it can be heard driving off quickly. In the next scene, Hall is again seen exiting the vehicle before being thrown to the ground and screaming for help. Both of the officer's legs were broken in the assault. The suspect drove off, kicking off a three-day investigation that culminated in an arrest warrant being issued for the suspect on Monday. The suspect was identified as 24-year-old William Todd Lewis, Jr. I'm incensed that any human being would inflict this type of violence against another human being in our wonderful, special Tampa Bay community, Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister said during a press conference on Tuesday morning per local Fox affiliate WTVT. I'm absolutely incensed that this bad guy had zero regard for human life, he said. As Lewis drove away, Cronister said he Lewis called his girlfriend as he drove away, according to police, and asked her for help before ditching the BMW. Keelis Garrison, 23, sent her mother to pick up Lewis and bring him home. The suspect then allegedly called another friend, 24-year-old Zaquari Carnegie, and asked him for help evading the police. The pair got a rental car and packed their bags, but not before investigators tracked them down. Knowing that you can't ram the car, the only pathway to his escape was through the deputy sheriff, Cronister said showing zero regard for human life, making the determination that his eluding arrest was more important than this deputy's life, he intentionally puts the car in gear, hits the gas, and runs the deputy over, leaving him lying on the side of the road like an injured dog, not knowing how injured he is. How severe are the injuries? Did he kill the deputy sheriff? He didn't care. Lewis, his girlfriend Garrison, and his friend Carnegie were all charged in the incident. I'm incensed that any human being would inflict this type of violence against another human being in our wonderful, special Tampa Bay community. I'm absolutely incensed that this bad guy had zero regard for human life. The driver was charged with aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, possession of cannabis more than 20 grams, leaving the scene of a crash with serious bodily injury, reckless driving with serious bodily injury, aggravated fleeing to elude serious bodily injury or death and fleeing to elude a police officer. Carnegie was charged with possession of Xanax that didn't belong to him and Garrison faces charges of being an accessory after the fact and tampering with evidence. Instead of doing the right thing, Garrison made the conscious decision to conceal Lewis' involvement. This choice to protect a criminal rather than uphold justice is not only deceitful, but also deeply disappointing, Cronister said. Her selfishly motivated actions undermined the integrity of our investigative efforts and put the community at further risk. For her role in this incident, she will face the full consequences of her actions. He added that Lewis' charges will most likely be upgraded to attempted murder of a law enforcement officer and they expected to make at least one more arrest in this case. Anyone out there who helped this individual that evening or over the next few days to avoid and elude arrest, you are a potential suspect, Cronister shared. We are looking at you. We are coming for you. Hall is expected to make a full recovery.